one of the worst issues ever to run into when you're playing Dokkan is running out of training items. It is so annoying when you finally pull the unit that you want and you can't even train them up all the way because you're lacking on the training items. And although this is one of the worst feelings, that's perfectly okay because one of the best ways to farm training items is currently in the game. So I really recommend everyone to stay tuned and I really recommend everyone to take advantage of what I'm about to show you. So really quick, when it comes to farming training items, the best way to do it is through the story event. Not the story mode, not the quest mode, but story events. Story events drop a really good amount of training items. So let's click start. Let's hop, hop over to event. Hop over to event. I can't speak English. And then as you guys can see, the story um, you know, tab right here. Let's scroll down a little bit. And this story event right here, this one right here, Super Android 13. All right. This event does not come back very, very often. So when it does you you have to have to have to take advantage of it right so if we click the information tab all the way to the right of the image we can see that on stage six stage six it gives z swords okay it drops around two to three every time you complete this now i know you what you're saying you're mr baby two to three I, that's not enough listen this takes less than a minute to grind which means if it drops two per run and you farm this for 20 minutes you're looking at 40 possibly 50 to 60 Z swords in 20 minutes of grinding for all types it is I'm telling you it is really 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 good and then another event that we'll look at later in the video is going to be this one right here all right galactic crisis super guy in the galaxy basically the uh, Bojack and Gohan event right so let's take a look at the super Android 13 event first and see why it's so good so remember stage six you want to complete all these prior stages and head straight to stage six on the hardest difficulty now what we're gonna do is take it on without this boost and then we're gonna take it on with the boost to see the difference right because the boost does give us double drops but we're gonna test it out especially in today's video now the really cool thing about story events is that some story events if you bring specific category units you get a boosted drop right so for example here if we click effect we see that if we bring Super Saiyans we bring any unit who is in the Super Saiyan category we get a boosted drop, we get more drops, right? So you wanna bring as many LRs as you possibly can, or as many units as you possibly can in the Super Saiyan category. So this is going to be my team right here. All Super Saiyans, all LRs. Now, it does not, I'm telling you right now, it doesn't really matter how good your, your team is or not. Like, I, don't worry about leader skills and stuff because this event is still so super, super easy that if you're rocking full LRs, it doesn't matter who's your leader. It doesn't, like, you're gonna still one-shot this most likely right so i want to take my time with it let's see how much time it takes me but remember i mean since i'm talking and since i gotta explain this stuff it's gonna, take, it's gonna take a little bit longer for me but you can literally clear this in like under a minute right and again remember i'm taking my time so i wonder how much time it's going to take me to actually finish this grind so i think there's two stages to this right uh let's just you know super tech with goku here uh at least this should be a one shot i don't really see how it, he, he'd survive and then i do think that there's another stage to this so after we defeat um, intelligence Android 13 I think there's like another phase uh, that we have to kill really quick before we end off uh, this event but guys listen I understand I, I know your pain okay I used to be in this in the spot Jeez, I love that wind pose I there, yeah there is another stage okay um, I used to be in that spot where I would be lacking with training items and I just wouldn't know where to get them because Dokkan like Dokkan doesn't really explain some things to you right? it doesn't tell you where the best like when this when this event comes back, it tells you that the event comes back, but it doesn't say you know you can you can obtain a lot of Z sword from this event. So sometimes you're just left in the loop, really. And, I, and th that's why I think making videos like this are super super powerful, so you guys stay informed for when events drop. All right. So I think we got three drops, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I think we got three drops. Let's see. Yes, we got three drops. So one. Go, uh, yell yellow. I, I'm playing le way, way too much legends. One a physical Z sword and two AGL Z swords, right? So that's just that's literally three in what one minute and 15 seconds. Again, I was taking my time, so you can clear this in under one minute. Now, let's see what happens if I click the boost feature. Now, the boost feature you do get three, um, a bit like you get three and it has to it takes a while to reset. I think it's like eight hours per um, eight hours per slot of that thing, but. 
if you use the boost feature, you're going to be training, you're going to be obtaining so many training items, it's actually, actually, actually insane. So I recommend, when it comes to using that boost feature to get double rewards from whatever event you're running, I mean, Dokkan events are really good to do that too, because Dokkan events, since they drop 7 medals, and you need 77 to awaken a specific Dokkan, uh, you know, uh, you know, Dokkan Fest unit, I recommend using the boost feature there, because it definitely makes the grind a lot easier. But if you already have, you know, if you're not like focusing on awakening your unit, I really recommend using the boost feature on events like this, where you're going to get, you're going to basically maximize the amount of time um, that you're using and make sure you get as many training items as possible. Now, I, I would say that the Z Swords, again, remember, we're going to take a look at the other event as well, the uh, Gohan and Bojack event. Um, I forgot the name of that specific item, but these Z Swords are a lot, a lot, a lot more. Uh, handy than the items that the Bojack and Gohan event drop, but again, both are still super super necessary because every time you're, you're training up item, uh, training up units, you're definitely going to use a lot of Z swords and use a lot of the other training items. I forgot the name of it. Let's uh, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so th this should just be a one shot. We have to, I think we might actually clear this a little bit faster, but I'm expecting at least five to six Z swords from here because when we got three last time, the boost feature does give times two, so we got four there. But since we got four. That, that's actually, that's not what the boost included, because the boost included, or when we see the boost, it's going to be now, right? Let's see. So we got a total of, look at that. That's eight Z-Swords, one run in a minute, right? So you do this 30 times a day, and like 30, 30 is 35 minutes while you're doing something else, like while you're like, I don't know, doing your homework. I don't recommend doing it while you're doing your homework, but... Whatever you gotta do, right? Because again, this, this is this is no braining. Like you don't have to focus your rotations. You just click on the screen and get this done. Do this 30 times a day. You're going to be looking at mo probably close to 100 Z swords in under an hour, in like half an hour, right? And again, it is randomized by type. You could get like like 60 AGL ones and like 20 physical ones, but this event, I'm telling you right now, is one of the best ways to get training items like in the game, and you like. You have to stay on the lookout for this uh, this event. I love running this event. And again, Super Saiyans is a very popular category. When I say popular, meaning there's so many units on that category that even if you're still newer to the game, there's a good chance you have a lot of Super Saiyan units, right? Next, let's take a look at the Bojack and uh, Super Saiyan Gohan event. I believe the stage here is going to be 8. Yeah, so if you guys see stage 8, we get these training items right here, which I think in terms of value are right under the z swords now, if you guys take a look stage one also gives you z swords okay so again story events are super 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 valuable let's take a look at stage eight and see how well this is i don't have any more boost options so i can't show that to you guys now but the effect the the bonus category uh for this event is going to be hybrid saiyans now the thing i really like about hybrid saiyan is that they're somewhat free to play friendly so for example this um, AGL, future Super Saiyan Trunks, he's free to play, right? Um, this LRB pan that came for the four-year anniversary, she's free to play, right? And then this Gohan, who you, is, he gets, okay, he's a, he's a reward, sorry, for the OG Super Battle Rope stages, which is pretty difficult content. But if you can be at least one of those stages, you can get one copy of this guy, right? Because one of the missions is to complete a stage 20 times. Once you complete that, you do get a copy of this Gohan. So I highly, highly recommend um, to try any of the Super Battle Roads out, the OG uh, 10 stages. And if you can beat one, you can get a copy of this guy. So that's three free-to-play units already. And then let's hop straight into this. Again, the team doesn't really matter. But um, since you're going to... Again, story events are not difficult if, if you've been playing the game for a good amount of time. If you just started playing like yesterday, yes, story events are going to be pretty difficult to beat. You're, back, you're, you're not going to have a lot of units to beat these specific um, you know, story events. You're not gonna have a lot of uh, characters that fit within the certain category to get a, a you know boosted drop, so that's perfectly understandable. But if you're playing for like a month, two months, three months, if you summoned a little bit here and there, um, there's a good chance that you can definitely beat these um definitely beat these events. Okay, so as you guys can see, look, I'm not even gonna change my rotations. Like again, like this is this this rotation right here is not something you'd actually want to run in game. I don't even think uh, LR Go Bros. They don't yeah they don't uh, they do lead siblings bomb, but they don't even lead um what's it called? They don't even lead hybrid sands and again this is the most likely going to be a one shot uh let's see how much damage b-pan does to a type disadvantage unit look at this okay that's actually not a one shot okay all right you know what i, I was proven wrong lrb pan cannot one shot in this event okay 
but Trunks can. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I don't think there's another uh, stage to this event. Though. I think once you come, once you kill all four of these guys, um, it's gonna you know basically be over. But again, oh wait, what? Bojack didn't even die. Yo, okay, Gohan and uh, Gohan and Trunks. Why are you guys making me look bad in my own video? Like, dude, I'm I'm trying to show the, the lovely people watching this video that you guys can one shot, and you're 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 making me look bad. I promise it's not difficult. Okay. I promise not difficult, but again, the units on this team aren't getting buffed by the leader skill, so they're not going to be as strong as they possibly can. But still, like again, this is not difficult. Like if we're taking, if, if we get hit, we're taking double digits, right? So um, it's either they kill us or you kill them, and they're not doing damage to me, so I'm obviously not going to die, right? But yeah, they're making me look bad. I, I apologize. I apologize on their behalf, okay? But there we go. So we completed that. Wait, did we just get characters? I'm confused. Let's see what we actually got here. This this was stage eight, right? Okay, I'm, I'm actually a little bit confused, not going to lie. Hold up. <laughs> Did I take on the right stage? Oh, so I got go I got a lot of Gohans. Did he drop from stage 8? Ah, uh, okay, I see. So you either get a lot of Gohans or a lot of training items. Okay, I see. Well, that was an unfortunate run, but yeah, I do run stage 8 quite often. I did get the S I get one STR one, which is, I guess, it's understandable. Um, now, Gohan, since he is part of the stage 8, um, you could get a lot of copies of him, but I've gotten multiple runs still where I've gotten multiple of these training items. Multiple of these training items. So that was an unfortunate run. I don't want to make this video too, too long. But again, you still can get a bunch of these items. And even if you don't want to take on the Super Saiyan uh, version of this, I still would recommend sta um, Stage 1 of this event right here. If you have more Hybrid Saiyans than Super Saiyans, um, which could be understandable for sure, then I recommend running this stage, Stage 1. Look at those sexy Z-Swords right there all right so if you guys enjoyed today's video hit the like button subscribe if you are new let me know right now if there's any other guides you want to see and i'll make sure to make those videos for you have a great rest of your day peace